House of Representatives at a committee on international boundary disputes between Nigeria and Cameroon is considering a fresh application to appeal the International Court of Justice judgment that ceded Bekasi to Cameroon. The consideration by the committee is to determine areas that belong to either country with Nigeria not ready to cede any of its territory. Honorable Victor Abeng had argued that the non-location of Pillar 113A by the Technical Committee of the Cameroon Nigerian Mixed Commission is the reason for this unfortunate situation. Chairman of the Adult Committee, Benny Lair, said the House is concerned about the potential loss of a significant landmass in Nigerian citizens residing within it to Cameroon. But she assured that the House will do everything possible to ensure Nigeria does not lose an inch of its border to any of its neighbors. Based on the critical nature of this mo motion, which is considered as a matter of national urgent importance, the Ad Hoc Committee embarked on a preliminary gathering of intelligence on the subject by seeking guidance and briefs from the ministries, departments, and agencies of government charged fully with the subject matter and to which the committee has received wonderful memoranda from both the National Boundary Commission, Office of the Surveyor General, and other institutions that have responded. It is to this effect and furthering from the submissions of these institutions that we have convened an interactive, an interactive session and briefing to which the name goes, we are all to interact on the critical issues on the motion raised before us. The Director General of the National Boundary Commission advised that the country should comply with the provisions of the ICJ judgment, a position that federal lawmakers were not pleased with. The lawmakers believe that the National Boundary Commission is not interested in protecting the interest of the country as the representatives of the Berkey community pleaded for quick action from the federal government to save his people. This, this pillar and placement was supposed to have been done, done in Lot 4. It was aborted. We, it was rewarded during Lot 7, also aborted. The only outstanding segment is the Lot 8, which is to look at areas that were skipped and conclude the exercise. It's not a question of adjustment of the boundary. It's not a question of Nigeria ceding any territory. It is the boundary that is properly now uh, identified and brought out and made visible. In so doing, some affected farmlands and uh, part, part of a uh, dinary that had expanded beyond what it used to be will be affected. So it's not ceding any part of Nigeria, but now Nigeria now living up to expectation to agree to implement what the country has accepted to implement. Respect the international boundary between Nigeria and our neighbors in the spirit of African brotherhood. And we need to do that peacefully. If we keep on resisting, it will not portray us in good image. Whatever problems the people have of wanting to be properly resettled and compensated, that should be something they should take. The government of Prosperous State should take appropriately with the federal government. And uh, we appeal to the state to please cooperate. Let the boundary be properly concluded. Also present at the meeting were representatives of the affected communities and also representatives of security agencies. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.